Phase transitions can make your site look expensive, clean, seamless and just satisfying to watch. What you are seeing right now is exactly what we are gonna build. A smooth GSAP power transition between pages, done with just HTML, CSS and few lines of JavaScript. It is simple to set up but it instantly gives your website that agency feel. If you like this kind of build, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel to grow. Alright, let's get started. Alright, I have already set up the base layout for this page transition. We're gonna have three pages, home, about and contact and they will all share almost the same structure. I will just tweak the content a little bit on each one so the transition looks seamless. At the top, I have added a transition container. This is where all the magic happens. It's got two rows. And each row has five block divs inside. We will animate this later to cover and reveal the page smoothly. Below that, there's the main layout wrapped inside a main tag. We have got a navigation bar with a logo on the left and links on the right. Home, about and contact. And finally, each page has a simple hero section with a heading. That's the only thing that really changes from page to page. At the bottom, I'm loading GSAP from the CDN. So yeah, that is the full structure. Now we will move into styling and make that transition actually come alive. Alright, moving on to the CSS. We will start off with a global reset. Just removing all default margin and padding and setting box sizing to border box so everything lines up cleanly. I have imported two custom fonts. PP Monument for the bold titles and Supply Regular for the nav text. They will give the layout that clean minimal typography style. For the main section, it fills the full viewport width and height. And I am centering everything using Flexbox and giving it a white background. The navigation bar is fixed at the top, stretched across the full width with the padding on the sides and flex alignment to space the logo and links evenly. For the nav items, I am using Flexbox, centering everything and adding a 2VW gap between the links. For the anchor text, I have removed the underline, made the text uppercase and used our supply regular font, nice, clean and minimal. For the hero heading, I am making it all caps and centered. The font size is huge, around 13VW, so it takes up the strong focal spot on the page and using the monument font again. And for the span, I flipped the letter K using scale negative 1. Just a small touch to make the title a bit more interesting. Now the transition section. It's fixed across the whole screen using flexbox in a column direction and it is split into two rows. Each row will later animate separately for this smooth two-part page animation. Each block fills equal space across the row. Every row has 5 blocks. The top row's block is scaled down from the top and the bottom row's from the bottom. So when we animate them, they will meet perfectly in the center. With the black background and scale Y set to 1 initially. That's what we will animate using GSAP to create the reveal effect. Alright, we are done with CSS here. Now it's time to wake this thing up with some JavaScript magic. Okay, now let's handle the page transition with JavaScript. I'm wrapping everything inside a DOM content loaded event so our code runs only after the page fully loads. I'm selecting all the anchor tags on the page and adding a click event listener to each one. Inside the listener, I'm first preventing the default link behavior. Then grabbing the href value from the link. If that href exists, and it's not an anchor 
or the current page. I call a function named animate transition. Once that animation finishes, we use window.location.href to actually navigate to the new page. After that, I am setting all the block elements to be visible and fully scaled. Then, I am calling reveal transition function right when the page loads. This shrinks the blocks to uncover the page as soon as we land. And when that's done, I hide the blocks again using visibility hidden. Now, let's look at the two main functions, reveal transition and animate transition. Alright, let's create the reveal transition function. It returns a promise so we can change the animation one after another. Inside, I'm using gsap2 function to scale the blocks down on y-axis, revealing the page. Duration set to 1 second with a 0.1 stagger and a grid of 2 rows, 5 columns. Same easing, power for in out, nice and smooth. Now for animation transition, same setup but reversed. This time the blocks scale up from 0 to 1, covering the page before navigation. So basically, when we click a link, the block expand, hide the screen, the page changes and then they collapse again to reveal the new one. And that's pretty much it. Let's look at the final page transition in the browser. If you made it this far, you are officially part of the crew that actually finishes things. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. That's it for now, I'll see you in the next one.